A problem I have experienced with a number of these low-cost spools of PLA in one or more places along the spool, the line will be crossed over. And when your extruder is trying to pull on that, it can't because it's got like a half hitch here. And if the spool has this in one place, I have found it will have it in multiple places throughout the length of the filament. And that's the problem. If you're experiencing this on a spool of filament, then you cannot go off and leave your 3D printer unattended. A lot of the prints that I do can go on for 10, 20 hours or longer. And there's just no way that you can stay there and watch over the thing all the time. I drew these hubs in Fusion 360. This comes right off the printer like this. And these are designed for these spools. And this is what I call no-name filament. It's out, of, uh, it's out of China. I have to admit, I don't buy the most expensive filament. But it has proven to be good enough for what I do. And these go in here. And that screws on. When the drive belt is turning that, it's tightening that. I'm using quarter inch bamboo for the axles. That just goes in there. I put a little bit of paraffin on that so it doesn't squeak. The STL files for these will be on Thingiverse under my name. If you're using the same filament, then this will work for you. Otherwise, this is basically to give you an idea of how to draw or design your own. And a couple of these pulleys that I'm using on my motor will be on there as well. So you have a carriage bolt up through the bottom. The weight of the motor keeps this end down. These sides support the motor side to side. I've made my own belt. This is actually a rewind belt from the Senior 20 organ. You can use an O-ring. I put a little bit of tension in that belt and just snug it up. And that's, that's good enough. When I'm away from this, I put a clamp on here. It just puts a little weight on the spool and keeps this from unwinding by itself. Then I use a foot switch. It's an on off dead man type switch. I just put a little pressure on this spool to keep a little tension in the filament. Just move it back and forth on the on the take up spool. Another reason for using the foot switch, if you encounter a line over here, this will begin to bind up and you'll have to stop it and then work that, that place where the uh, filament is crossed over so it comes free and then you can start again. Don't do that, that hurts. Looks like I'm going to have to put a guard over this fan. It is kind of short. The fan is required to keep this motor cool. It just blows a little air over this primary coil. This gets extremely hot, and with this air blowing across there, it never does get too hot to touch. that's all done and you want to run the end of that retain it keep that from unraveling for a while after it sits on the spool it'll start to get a memory about how it's wound up on there why rewind so slow 
Well, in part, I'm using a motor that I have. A lot of these shaded pole motors do not have a lot of power. This one does. This turns 18 RPM. I cannot stall this by hand. And I can always increase the size of this pulley a little bit. But basically, the filament is quite brittle. You don't really know for sure when you're going to encounter one of those line overs on the spool. And I don't want to jerk on that filament and take a chance on maybe snapping it in two. Now you can buy a gear motor on eBay, made in China. They have all different combinations and speeds. You can run it on a 12 volt battery or on a power supply. If you've had a problem with filament where the uh, filament is crossed over on the spool, you may find this very handy. And I'm just giving you information about what I have done. You can design or build your own version. I had this ring in my scrap bin. This will still slide back and forth. And it keeps my hand from getting down into the fan. And when I get a chance, I'll enclose this, which will make the air flow over this primary coil more efficiently.